When introducing new concepts and vocabulary, it is important for teachers to intentionally provide opportunities for students to work together in groups. This will allow students to consolidate their learning, ask each other questions, share ideas, and explain their own thinking. In this video, you will watch a lesson taught by the enthusiastic Mi Rat Nyango. She demonstrates the skill of teaming by first teaching new L2 vocabulary, in this case, Myanmar language, then providing an opportunity for students to work in groups using both their mother tongue language, in this case, Mon language, and L2. Initial instruction by the teacher is performed by switching between L1 and L2 while encouraging students to do the same. The teacher even inserts new L2 vocabulary into an L1 sentence to promote language learning. After instruction, the teacher has students recreate the experiment in groups using everyday materials, a candle, a book, and a large piece of paper. Students have an opportunity to engage with the content in L1 while practicing the new L2 vocabulary in a non-intimidating environment. The teacher hasn't provided students with details on where to place the paper to observe the shadow. The students need to figure it out and learn by themselves. You can see one group of students changing the position of their paper completely. Students talk it through as an aid to their learning. This is teaming at its best. Try teaming during your next class by giving the students an opportunity to practice using new L2 vocabulary in groups.